Hi, my name is Hugh. I guess my story starts in a small city outside of Chicago, Illinois. Um, lovely house, beautiful wife, three young girls. It was a house of that served the Lord. Uh, it was a house of peace, a house of enjoyment, and a, a house of a lot of fun. Something happened around, you know, late 1980s, excuse me, late the 1990s, when uh, my wife started to get uh, a little sick. Uh, we found out that she had uh, come down with uh, an autoimmune disease. Um, there were lupus and many others, but over the courses of the years, you know, her body just started to give out on her. I remember holding her sometimes that she would just tell me, get, get my hands off of her because it hurt so bad when I would just actually touch her flesh that she couldn't take it. I was out of town on a, on a, on a business trip and uh, my youngest daughter was taking her to the hospital for treatment uh, for a, a blood, a semi-blood transfusion. And it was uh, over a course of three days. And on uh, day number two after the treatment, they all went to a restaurant with a friend of theirs. And then um, unfortunately, uh, the Lord called her home uh, in the restaurant. So my youngest daughter calls me in a panic and says, you know, mom just, uh, mom just died. But uh, after that, then, you know, I've come to the, the, the reality that now I'm a, a, a single a single parent and I've got three girls to raise. And um, how am I how am I going to do this? And what am I going to do? And I, I was pretty good at, you know, just in, in from a directional standpoint of, of doing what I felt I was supposed to do to lead the household. But there was still a 10 percent of me that since I didn't know how to grieve and didn't know how to handle the situation, I, I just... I just hey, if there was a a a bar or a woman that was out there, hey, that's that's where I would go. I I didn't understand this was my own grieving mechanism. So rather than leaning on God like I should have been, I was just you know leaning on you know, everything else. Only God you know put some key people in my life at the right time that saw me for, for what I was doing, and then began to hold me accountable. Over time, the shift started to happen where I started almost to forgive myself for all the things that I've done wrong and actually to, I don't know, look at God and say, I I'm, I'm sorry, and really start to understand what God saw in me and how much that he loved me. God has, you know, blessed me with just a phenomenal woman that I am able to do ministry work. And that's, you know, probably more important than me than anything else is that we are aligned, you know, spiritually and we're able to give back and serve God the way that, you know, he intended a man and woman to serve the church and serve people. So I, I would say that hey, if you if you are broken, if you've been disappointed, if you've been hurt, hey, don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. Because as I think back on it, God was with me through all those times. This is who we lean on during these you know, difficult times where it doesn't make any sense. We don't understand it. We're broken. And for myself, you know, I think about like a, a wretch like myself, right? From things that I've done, hey, only but God could, you know, bring me through this and allow me now to have, you know, a phenomenal woman, have a family and be able to serve him and have joy and peace in my life.